Hello then, folks. Welcome back to another episode of the Network Game with me, Dr. Benji FM, Zealand, Delusio, and Work the Space. Uh, a little bit different today because we've done a transfer window and things get a little bit more complicated when you spend four hours looking for players uh, and also waiting for Zealand. It's just the way it works. So uh, what we're going to do is show you a few highlights from that, and I'm going to give you the full rundown of all the players that we've signed for the future elements of the save. Of course, if you want to watch the full VOD, you can do. I'll leave a link in the description to the four-hour extravaganza, we'll call it, of, uh, of the Network Game. But for now, I'll let Harrison start us off with a highlight, and then I'll come to you with our first transfer business, which was the outgoings. That was that was one of the worst like weeks like, of my life. The amount of hours. BB, what were you doing at the BBC studio? We, I was working behind the scenes on a TV show called Time Commanders, which uses like the Total War games to recreate historical battles, and like oh. two sides go back. Oh, but we I had love to record. It, so it's ge genuinely, so you, you would, would absolutely have, love it. <laughs> we had to we had to record four or five episodes in three days. And we got no prep time. Like the sh the show's meant to have like a little practice phase for the two teams, and then they battle each other on a big stage. Um, uh, I should I shouldn't have brought this up either. I'm such a fucking idiot. Honestly, why did I? I knew this would happen as well. The show in an entire day, and then it's like, right, we have four more to film in the next two days. It's like, well, we've not even done an actual run through of when the teams fight, like play against each other. It was so stressful. I think I slept like six hours a night, and then was working on set for seventeen hours. Does he like, meet? Did you meet Greg that, Wallace? Someone's that, asked. That, 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 I did that. meet Greg Wallace. I did meet Greg Wallace. He was very nice. Oh, See, nice. the thing is, right? People always say, like, you know, TV presenters and stuff are just kind of assholes when the cameras go off. No, Greg Wallace was actually genuinely lovely. He does strike me as someone that would be genuinely lovely. Like, he was, was very good at relaxing all the guests, like, because he would be a bit stiff. <laughs> what? <laughs> on camera. What the fuck? People, <laughs> people on no, camera. No wonder, you, no wonder you liked him. Crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> people on camera can be a bit wooden and a bit, you know, like, Stop saying you are not making like this any better. <laughs> Just move Basically, on. people get nervous in front of cameras with all the lights on them. He was very good at relaxing them into the situation. Stop. Just oh, say he's a nice dear. guy. Just say he's a nice guy. Stop lovely. talking. He was well, stop, 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 Jack explaining Greg Wallace. Just stop. Just <laughs> <laughs> leave it. Well, I've already got Calvert Lewin yep. and Barbosa True. and Cabral. True, yeah. And Richardson. I probably don't need him. All, all fair, all fair statements you've made there. Plus, I'm spending all my money on Ryan Gravenberch. Are you? But well, he's 67 million, so it's quite a lot of money. Are you going after for 67 million? Yeah. Means he must be good for that kind of price. So, the main outgoing, Daniel Ings. That's right. Arsenal came to me with 30 million and went, we want Danny Ings. I went, 50. You'll never bid 50. And they did. 50 million quid. 10 goals in 25 last year from 16 starts is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily think he's got the, the the minerals, the speed to necessarily be effective in the way that I like to play FM this year on a consistent basis. Yes, the goals he scored last year were pretty good, but they came in fits and starts. He scored twos and threes without getting goals every game. And I take that into consideration. I want somebody who's going to be a little bit more consistent with their play. Great composure off the ball uh, finishing, of course, but at 29, a £50 million bid for a player that... I didn't start in every game last year. We'll take the money. It's not a problem. So Danny Ings, off to Arsenal you go, mate. And that pretty much funded our transfer window. We had 40 million to spend. We added 50 million to that. And so we went wild. So we started things off with Maddy Kamara. That's right. We thought we'd get in some extra midfield strength. We've already got quite a good midfield, but we thought, why not add to it? £13 million from Olympia cost. One of the better players you can get for pretty cheap in Football Manager this year. As I say, 25 years of age, 55 grand a week. It's a player I think the rest of the boys would have loved to have had. When I mentioned I was getting him, the sort of the general consensus was... Yeah, he's pretty good. I'd have quite liked him. Can play as a defensive player, can play as an attacking player. But again, those mentals and physicals specifically are so, so good. I'm expecting big things from him. Again, our midfield right now is pretty pretty nice. Like, we've got the likes of John McGinn in there, as well as some others. But he now sets a bit more of a standard of how good we need to be. Again, how will he fit in with Rafinha and Douglas Luiz and these other players? We'll have to find out. We'll assess the squad at the end of the video. But yeah, Manny Kamara, welcome. I'm improving my training facilities right now. What are you guys doing to make yourselves better? Um, I'm uh, waiting for Kev well. to buy Rafinha. Sit up, says Kev. Kev, you are not doing sit ups right now, mate. You'd be puffing. No, I've broken my chair. <laughs> Chuck, come on. You've broken hey. your chair, so you can do sit ups in it. 
I probably could now, but the back will fall off completely. Why, it's hanging on you, by a thread. How did you? I don't know if I want to know this. How did you break your chair? Because there's a lot of me, Ben, and I leaned back. That's how I broke my chair. <laughs> oh, okay. If you should Brett, run away from us now, no, you're in the Champions League. We're not. I know you got our extra yeah, games. Yeah, I'll finish stuff. like 14th this coming season because oh. I'm in the Champions League. No, no, no. Not if you your squad's played this game before, yeah, but it's not, is it? It's a good team, but the squad is terrible. Well, that's why you've got a Champions League budget now to go and I haven't. spend. I've got less budget than you. Yeah, that's because you spent all your money in season one like an idiot. Well, there you go then. You did spend like, 200 million like, in the first transfer. Yeah, that's why window. I got in the Thank Champions you. League. Thank you for confirming my, my, my opinion for yeah, me. I did good transfers last time. I got into the Champions League, but now you lot will catch up because I just got a year's head start by doing my business the way I did it. Yeah. Next up, with Danny Ings leaving, I needed a new man that fit the mould of what we're trying to do. And Darwin Nunes was that guy. Now, we spent forever looking for this man, for this striker to come in and be the new star. Now, of course, when you're not in Europe after the finish of, what was it, eighth last season? Something like that. You you need to try and wiggle your way around the transfer uh, window to, to find some value in the market. And for me, Darwin Nunes not only represents that in terms of sell-on ability in the future, if it comes to that, but also the here and now. He's so fast and he's quite a presence as well. Six foot two. While his heading ability and things like that aren't so good, his strength is one of those things that gets him so many goals. The work rate too, of course, the aggression a great pressing forward or advance forwards i'm a big big fan of his very strong on the right foot fairly strong on the left foot last year for uh for benfica 11 in 23 it's very similar to danny ings but with 30 million in our bank to spend on other players and spend on other players we did next up then a left back was the was the option for me and alex Tellus joins us from manchester united we've already got matty target here but i felt like we needed a little bit more united don't make a loss or a profit on the sale uh they played him a little bit last year he wasn't great for them but i think he'll be great for me i think this will suit him be a little bit more of his level of course in real life villa went and got a left back so it was obviously a position they needed to fill and kev wouldn't sell me luca dean um i did try but wouldn't sell me luca dean so we went for alex tellers instead uh 20 million to 24 is his value now so already a little bit extra on that at 29 we've definitely got a few seasons left in him um we didn't have them in danny ings though 50 million quid for danny ings come on i can't get over that but no, great player. Really looking forward to using him. Slot straight into our first 11 as well. And uh, yeah, getting forward, putting the balls in for the likes of Nunes and Adi Amy, who have got up front, I think could be very, very dangerous. Again, with the inside forward ahead of him, all that sort of thing. Maybe Leon Bailey helping him out. Oh, just can't wait. Hopefully I'll be allowed to test this cushion out with an egg soon. Pardon? You know what? I've got one of these special cushions that you can sit on an egg and not break the egg because the cushion's so magical. And Anna won't let me, every time I go near the kitchen, she's like, you better not be getting an egg because she knows I want to sit on an egg and test well, it. Well, that chair's done for, so you might as well ruin it. Well, exactly. Yeah. Kev can sit on an ostrich egg and not crack it. We no, don't know that. We don't even egg. know that. Yeah. We don't we, even know if that's yeah, we, true. We have figured that out, I believe. Just, I think the only route really is to just try it now. I haven't got an ostrich egg. No, just an egg. I think there's just... Well, no, yeah. How free for the street? No, 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 of course. No, no, no. It needs, no, it, need, no. it needs Kev. some jeopardy. It needs Kev. some jeopardy. Do it now. Do it now. Please, Kevin. Because then I have to sit in egg for the next two hours. You can hours. clean it up. Like, you can Kev, you won't have to. Yeah, you also won't have to because it works. It's my. It's, uh, you've seen the advert. You've seen the advert. Let's give it a go. Yeah, but no, I don't want to. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. come on. No. Kev. He's putting it in a bag. No, we can't the, use a bag. He can't use a bag. He's, he's putting it in a bag. Yeah, he's, no, he's putting it in a bag. He's going to put it in a bag. Yeah, he shouldn't put yeah. it in a bag. But all the, the important no, that, thing is he'll have the egg at that point. That could compromise the experiment. Yeah, how thick is the bag? bag? How thick is yeah. the bag? You can't put it in like a, a rucksack. Do you know what I mean? Do you have a rucksack that's in the US? I know. I, I do know what a rucksack is, though. So. Okay, good. He's, he's well travelled. Of course he is. Egg, I feel like he's. Egg, what if he never egg. comes back? What What if he's been rumbled by Anna? Well, Anna's handcuffed him. Oh, He's not allowed just... to stream for the rest of the day. What a yoke. I thought it was cracking. No, right. right. Have an egg. Hang on, Kev, Kev, hi. We've just um, been talking about it. You're not allowed to use the bag. Because the oh, bag might the bag. no no listen listen the, the bag might compromise the egg. The, ex well, could, the experiment could be ruined. I'm afraid that's yeah. the price I'm willing to pay. So okay, can, can we, we see can we Dave see that Cam? please? Where's the Dave Cam? Where's Dave Cam? Don't, have that anymore. Oh, don't sit down. Oh. Don't sit down. Wait for oh. wait for Dave Cam. Oh oh. Right, is I am egg? down. I'm down. My hands are in the air. <laughs> right. Um, I, I'm not I don't think the egg is broken. Are, oh you, on the, are you on the cushion? No, are you on the cushion? Egg. 
Show, show us the, the egg. egg. The egg is still show completely the intact. Egg. Now, now right. do it without the bag. In which just case, to be sure. In which case, do you can do it without the bag then. No, so far, it's been a fair test. Chance. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you've done it without the bag? You've got to do it bagless. You've got to do it bagless. Yeah, you've got to do it bagless. Come it didn't, on. It didn't, it didn't break. Now on, we need to see how good this is. This is the greatest sure. advertising spot for this ever. What? I'm not keeping egg in here. It's fine. Anna knows. Anna's on to me. I've had the egg confiscated, I'm afraid. <laughs> you've just given it to her. You've given it to her. You've bottled you've cow it. You've ca you coward. You coward. You coward. You gave in to her. You coward. Oh, I'm afraid we're afraid of her. <laughs> you've I'm sorry. Like, I don't how it works. So. That's... That... Wait, does it work? Nah, that's, that's a shame. That's such a my shame. day is ruined. That is such a shame. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. I My day is made. The egg didn't no, break. That thing no, wasn't I wouldn't, nah, I wouldn't, we needed I can't believe no it. No bag. The bag offered extra protection. <laughs> Maybe Anna can sit on it instead. Right, okay, now, ladies and gents, it's time, it's time for an orange. Now, get the orange <laughs> out. <laughs> I don't have an orange. <laughs> <laughs> what other objects can Kevin sit on? Out. I'm not going to sit on a tennis ball. <laughs> <laughs> that is like a disappointed <laughs> parent can peering just, through your door. Can we just get, can we just get slightly bigger with spherical objects? <laughs> until Kev's on, until Kev's on oh, better. Oh, there goes the chair again. Until Kev's sat there with a space offer. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, got to report that the helmet is not broken here. We're still going. Uh, the ostrich egg is next. Here we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> Anna is just we smacking have at the door like there. a disappointed parent. Well, well, strongest man comes in with an atlas stone. Right, Kevin, we're going to give this up a shot. <laughs> Next up then, Nico Schlotterbeck. There he is. Um, the hair. I mean, yes, let's talk about the hair. Amazing. Really, really solid defender though. And he's basically a player that I think slightly better overall than Tyrone Mings. Sorry, Tyrone, if you're watching. Um, composure, decision making and, and, and concentration, really good. Great positioning too. Tackling, marking, passing and heading. All solid from the technical aspects of his game. And his first touch, not too bad either. And at 22, this is the crucial bit for me. A lot of these 14s and 13s, right, will all be going up by one or two in the next few years. So I think we're getting his best few years ahead of us. Is that that sort of period between 23 and 25? I suspect we'll be playing the network game throughout that time period. And I think he's a man that I'm going to entrust in the role. Could be a little bit quicker. There's other options for us that we considered. But I think this is the man. Nico Schlottelbeck. Uh, Schlottelbeck. I'll get it eventually. Uh, is going to be the key man. Cost me 20, uh, 17 million, sorry, from Freiburg, where we had, again, an okay season in a, in a struggling Freiburg team. We're taking him from a bottom half German side to a top half Premier League side. He's got, he's got some work to do, but I think he'll be okay. And he's got amazing hair. I've just well, been completely... I'm not going to sell him to you. I've been completely done on my stream and I'm so upset. What was that? Oh, I've been a chat. I've been a chat. We've had this before. What's going on now? Someone has repeatedly spam, check out this player, check out this player. And I was ignoring it for ages. And then I was like, you know what? I'll check it out. But if he's bad, I'm timing you out for 10 minutes. The player he was spamming was Reese Hind. <laughs> he doesn't exist. It's resigned. They're now banned from my channel, and I'm tilted <laughs> off the planet. What, who, what was the, what was the who, what, what was the name of the I person that did it? Uh, I'll, I think I can paste their username yeah, what, in the chat. I'll, 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 I'll tell you now. What's their username? Where are you putting it? It's gaming, gaming in my pants. Gaming in, gaming my pants. I've just modded you in my chat. You're welcome anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant I've work. I've banned them. I've banned them. Welcome in, mate. New mod. Sorry. And we fought them on the beaches. I saw yeah. Danny Ings about three weeks ago, and Tyrone Mings has gone, why did you let him go? Now? Like, now? Because he's just come back from pre-season like, training, hasn't he? Well, he's no. Just noticed, he's, he's, he's not here. He's played... Well, I mean, I don't think that's what... He's just noticed that he's not here. I love that. No, he's looked around and gone, hmm. Yeah. So fascinating. Fascinating. Danny owes me a fiver. I haven't seen him for ages. Where is he? What do you uh -huh. mean we sold him? And finally, Dominic... Zabolazai, it's not said Zabolazai. I've been saying Zabolazai for about a year, but Dominic, who I've had in previous Football Manager saves on this channel, joins us. He plays central midfield or attacking midfield, and I like him a lot. Again, our midfield has really upgraded. You think of him and Kamara now in the middle. I like Douglas Luiz. I like John McGinn. They're excellent squad players now. Rafina and Morgan Sanson, I'm trying to ship off it's that it's, it's been a struggle um but yeah we, i'm sure you've seen him on the game before i'm sure you're fully aware that he'll be getting a big premier league move at some stage um it cost us a lot 57 million pounds but i think playing as maybe a mazala in central midfield he's going to be an absolute superstar i can't wait to see how he does for me it's going to be good fun it's going to be really good fun
And if you take a look then at our squad as a whole now, uh, uh, let me know. Well, Amy, we'll go with Amy. Amy Martinez will be in goal for us. In fact, let's just do it from this angle instead. Uh, Martinez will be in goal for us. Cash, Kunza, uh, Schlottelbeck, and Tellus at the back. This is a Norwich system I'm using in a stream save at the moment. So outside of doing the network game on the live stream, I'm also doing a Norwich save where I'm using this system. Last year, if you remember, we used something a little more like this. And the reality is they're quite similar. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the mystique of the asymmetric Norwich formation but they work in quite similar ways so it gives us options of course right Amy Boyd is still here as well to play amongst Adi Amy Kamara's in there we could drop Kamara back we could now bring in Zavolazai to play in that kind of role maybe as a box-to-box -box, maybe as a Mazala supporting Nuno Santos or Bailey on the other side I, the squad we're building here I think is quite exciting and I actually think if I'm being honest they, don't, they won't watch this I think my team is being built into something quite good and i don't think they've noticed and i'm quite happy about that they're making some good signings of their own don't get me wrong and you can watch all their videos on their channels or keep up with the streams to know what they're doing but um you know i think so far things are looking pretty good if we actually go to the transfer window can we see out of us who has spent the most money so far so everton kept bought in graven of course he has uh newcastle bought calvin phillips from jack for 62 million so he's got loads of money to spend and speaking of money to spend we've got still 18 or so million left to bring in to maybe back up defenders we're a little bit short defensively at the moment we definitely need some cover back there if i can get someone a free uh spoiler i want where is he i want james tarkovsky desperately to join me i think that he would be a really good addition to our squad um then I th again i think we're in a pretty good spot what i've not looked at is the season preview um of course they're everton wolves and leeds and we're all sort of very similarly matched once again Kev managed to flukily qualify for the Champions League, whereas the rest of us are battling it out. And by the rest of us, I mean me and Zia battling it out and Jack's in the league. So it's good fun. Hopefully you'll join us next Thursday for another episode of the Network Game. And of course, these videos come out every Saturday as well. Uh, so look forward to those. I think that rounds us off. So then thank you for watching. Thank you to Harrison for putting this together. Hopefully you enjoyed the video as a whole. And I'll see you soon for some more. We love with Kev Middlesbrough. You'll say it's time either on Twitch or on YouTube. I'll see you again. By the way, on Twitch, stream a showdown tonight. If you're watching on Saturday, uh, get involved. Twitch.tv slash FM Showdown. It's on the screen. It's in the description. Have a great time. See you soon.